guys, this is another Buy Local Buy BC video. It is another haul from the Christmas craft fair I attended in Oliver uh, last weekend. So we've got some deodorant, hand sanitizer, chapstick. I got two of these. The kids I nanny. A gift tag slash tree ornament from a lady I go to Toastmasters with. This is a real leaf dipped in foil or something like that. And then that's a Christmas tree. So now I'm going to review them as we go. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to review the hair clips first. These are hair clip from KB Creative. She is local in OCS. And they are Queen Elsa. Hope that's not a copyright infringement. And if I can just easily sweet. So they are like, I think it's called an alligator clip. They're fancy. She makes a whole bunch of other things too as well, like tutus and other things like that. Yes, the two little girls I nanny casually are three and seven, I believe, and they like frozen. And they were actually Elsa for Halloween. So that is some of their Christmas gifts. I believe these were like $8 each. I could be wrong. Um, I don't really remember. I don't really remember too much about prices. So I'm going to go with the leaf next. And so this is an actual real leaf. I'm just going to quickly made it. This is by Jenny's Treasures. Made by Virginia Irving. Who lives in Osseus. Where I live. This leaf jewelry is made by carefully selecting real leaves. The filigree varieties are treated with special acid to burn out the flesh part of the leaf, leaving the intricate lacy work. Each piece is then stabilized in copper and nickel when dry and hand dipped in gold or aluminum copper. I think this is copper or rose gold. The result is a little piece of nature preserved forever in a beautiful necklace or earring set. Each specimen is uniquely individual. No two are exactly alike. And this was $30, so this was quite expensive, um, especially since it was one of the smaller leaves. But all prices were the same, because they were quite a big variety. And this is just on the necklace back. So you can see how beautiful and intricate that is when I hold it up. So, sorry for my ugly nails. I have nail issues. As you can tell, it's a pretty unusual looking nail. Nobody knows why it's like that. So you'll just have to ignore it when I'm reviewing things. Reviewing things. So it's actually pretty gorgeous. And that is the business card. So go support her if you're local. Again, this is all about shifting our shopping to buying local. This is a cute little reindeer. Sorry, this is actually home cooking okay. This is the last time I'm going to be using you like this. Because hopefully the next time I film, which is actually a lie, by Sunday I should have a tripod. But I'm going to be doing a birthday haul tomorrow because I haven't opened birthday gifts yet. So This is a deer. It's called Squirrel Saw Art Insta Segmented Silhouettes by Howard Carey. H. Carey. Carey. Eastlink.ca, so I believe he's an Oliver. Um, let me just get this real quick for this one. So it's just a cute little reindeer. I think he was $8. And then here's the snowman, made by the president of the South Okanagan Toastmasters Club 7791 Shana Burbage. She hand paints all of these, and she had a ton at her table. And it's really cool because this is actually kind of 3D painted. I can't tell if you can tell. But these little bumps, some of it's raised up. Um, and she hand painted like all these like two weeks before the craft fair. So it was a lot of work. Next up, I'm going to be reviewing some things made by my friend Sherry. Who I met through a make and take workshop. She makes and sell, she sells Young Living Essential Oils and then makes products using the Young Living Essential Oils. 
So here's a chapstick that she actually gave me. <laughs> I was like, here, smell it, but you can't smell it. She actually gave this to me for my birthday. It's going to be a part of my birthday haul as well. I want to say it's peppermint. And it's super nice and light, and I just can't believe that she was able to pour these. Um, our friend Tracy from Bear Bites also makes products similar to these, but she wasn't at the craft fair where I was buying a lot of products. And it's also good to spread the love. This is her Living Well Alcohol-Free Hand Sanitizer. And I'm thinking it's... Oh, it's definitely have Thieves Oil in it. So I'll just go and grab Thieves Oil. Um, okay. I'm just going to grab the two oils that are in that. Thieves and Frankincense. So the Thieves is actually an antibacterial oil sold by Young Living. Um, it's very spicy, cinnamony. Yeah, it's pretty intense. Um, you can actually put it under your tongue, on your tongue to help kind of give you an extra protection for flu season. Because traditionally why it's called thieves is back in the day, kind of when the plague was going on, apparently thieves would put this oil on their tongues to help not catch the plague, supposedly. This is an Young Living Oil, and I really like it. It's actually really nice, and it helps me not get sick. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, so I see this is a really nice kind of pump style. Yeah, the joyous part of these things is you can eat basically any of them, and that's the whole point. You want to be able to make... Anything that goes on your skin should actually be edible or really, really good for you to the point of almost being edible. Because obviously your skin is an organ and it's like the biggest one, I believe. So you really want to be careful what you choose to put in it. So then the deodorant has abundance, tea tree, cleary, sage, and frankincense with shea butter, coconut oil, baking soda, arrowroot, beeswax, witch hazel, slash aloe vera. And this is frankincense in an oil. It smells quite foresty, musky, I think that you call that. I actually love it. It's one of my favorites. So this is homemade deodorant. Yay! It smells quite neutral. How do you get it up? Oh boy. It's technical difficulties here. Um... Oh man. Okay, well. I might be fighting for a while to try and get the other one on and up. Um. But anyway, it looks like it would be. Oh, 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 I think I finally broke the seal. It's probably super attractive face I'm making right now. It's called the Chelsea Concentrates face. Okay, finally got it. So let's send this watch it here. So it sinks into your skin quite nicely. Um because I don't know if it'll leave white marks or not. But I really like the smell, and I really like the feel, and it just feels natural. Hopefully it works well. I'll probably review it later. It's a little grainy, but that could just be the, the um, batch as well. Like, usually it'll get better as she tests and experiments a bit. Yeah, so that was my official second haul for Buy Local Buy BC Week. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you can't hear what somebody's watching in the background. I'm really hoping you can't. Because it's been on every video. Mm. Because I wanted to make a few more videos, but I'm really not risking you guys being able to hear it. Okay, but, um, that's the drawbacks to living with people. You can't control what they watch. <laughs> <laughs> 
you've enjoyed this. Um, you're planning to buy local and buy BC and shift local. This. I hope you're doing fun if you are with. Buy local. Starting buy local BC week. November 30th to December 6th. I hope you're pledging to shift your shopping. Or you shift 10% of your holiday shopping to buying local. Shop small, shop BC, shop local, shop, shop small business Saturday, small business Saturday, which is November 28th. And then this Christmas, I pledge to shop local, spend local, eat local, and enjoy local. I hope you're doing that and you're enjoying this video series. And if you want to know more about what I'm talking about, go to the fish first video. Check out my blogs. I'm going to try and post links to the people in the product in the description below but it doesn't look like too many people are on Facebook so it doesn't really matter but where I can and when I can I will post their links because I'm nice bye guys look forward to my birthday hauls and my Christmas candidate hauls which are over there because I have big plans for Vlogmas, but I'll film it when you can't hear questionable things in the background. <laughs> Bye!